So I always thought that what this region of 14 million people needed was a vibrant center. Uh, and the first time I really got involved was in the founding of the Museum of Contemporary Art back in 1979. Then the next time I got involved was Walt Disney Concert Hall, uh, which was featured on the cover of uh, New York Time Magazine. Uh, people thought it was dead, would never happen. So Dick Rude and I decided we'd raise the money to make it happen. Uh, and we did. And along the way, I said, look at all the land that the city and county has on Grand Avenue. They have no plan whatsoever. So we formed something called a Grand Avenue Committee and got the city and county and uh, the archbishop and others all involved in that and said, we've got to have a master plan for Grand Avenue. And we've got to make Grand Avenue the civic and cultural uh, district of, of this whole region. Uh, and along the way, a lot of good things happened. And of course, as you all know, Related's going ahead with a major development across from Walt Disney Concert Hall that'll have a 350 room hotel, it'll have 220,000 square feet of high-end retail, condominiums, or rentals, a motion picture theater, new restaurants, all designed by Frank Gehry. So it's all very exciting. And the population downtown from merely 10,000 is over 65,000 today. And we predict within five, six years, it'll be like 150,000. And we've got an awful lot going on. So the, this is the beginning. Art is a key element for you know, defining culture. I, I looked at it as a city without art and culture have no spirit. So no one wants to live in a place when they do not feel that they have pride and joy. And I think those people who live in LA I think back in the old days, always like maybe we feel like second class citizens because art, art, art and culture were not quite up to par than some of the other cities. But if you look at where LA today, I mean, the Los Angeles residents definitely can feel proud and joy by being identified with Los Angeles. Because just as Eli just talked about, just in downtown, it's just phenomenal. Everything's just happening pretty much the last 10 years or so, you know, and Grand Avenue have completely transformed. I remember talking to Eli many times when he showed me the map and said, this is what I'm gonna do, and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's happening, it's finally happened, you know. So I just, I, I, I love it, you know, being uh, a, a personally a, 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 an individual that lives here for all these years, and I, I just feel better and better being identified with the city of Los Angeles. And Bro is the institution that have great work, but anybody can get in. So from our perspective at East West, of course we like to support something like that. And the other thing is that also, we found this is particularly attractive, this institution is particularly attractive to the millennials. You know, so <laughs> we being part of the Bro as a partner, I think also give us the brand that, hey, you know what, we can be, just because we're a bank, it can be kind of hip too. You know? <laughs> so, 